Okay, here's another one we're going to solve by using the quadratic formula. Quadratic formula is this one right here, so b squared minus 4ac. And again, a, b, and c, it's written out in this form. So in our problem, my a is equal to 4, b is negative 1, and my c is equal to 2. So those, these are the values that I want to this time put into the quadratic formula. So here it goes, we have ne negative. Now be careful with this, because the b is negative, we have a negative for the formula and also a negative one goes in there as well, so you've got a double negative that you have to be careful for. Plus or minus the square root of b squared. Now, it's negative one quantity squared. That's gonna give you a positive when you square that one. So make sure that negative has to be inside the parentheses, you're squaring that. Minus four times a is four and your c is two. All this is over two times four. And now I wanna simplify this. I get one plus or minus the square root of 1, when I multiply this, I get negative 32. All this is going to be over 8. So what I need to do is just simplify the inside. So this is going to give 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 31 over 8. Now, depending on where you are in this particular class, in this, at this point of our class, we haven't discussed imaginary numbers just yet. That's actually the next section we'll be doing talking about imaginary numbers uh, by using I. So at this point, if you're doing problems in this particular section where this problem comes from, what you're gonna do is you're gonna say no solution because the square root of negative number is not real. So there's no real answer, so you can put no real solution. There are imaginary numbers, and we'll talk about that again in a later section, but as of where this problem comes from this particular section, we're gonna say no solution because we have a square root of a negative number.